Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 426 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we have been making a lot more uh, insulated wire than we had earlier. Only problem is that we will run out of naphtha and hydrofluoric acid soon. Did we already fix naphtha? No, I don't think so. We did not. Also, well, this is from a lack of NAFTA, but we did some weird stuff here to prioritize this, well, these chests. And honestly, I think we should do even more to do that, because we are not taking anything from the other chests. And doing that means that these chests won't fill up more than a hundred over the average of all the chests but if we just turn this down to the average of six these should just average out with a hundred item buffer i guess so that should be it for here we should just go and fix nafta and then go and fix hydrofluoric acid if there's an easy fix at least. Where is my plane? Up oh, yeah. here. I'm just gonna go past modules because you never know. Actually we are starting to accumulate a lot of productivity modules. Maybe those should be slowed down a bit. Just to, well, not keep producing them when we're just storing them. Or oh, not storing, but stacking them up. Also, there's no reason for us to carry around low tier modules when we have this high, this many high tiers. So let's do something about that, why don't we? I'm still gonna take these though, because I'm sure we will have some application at some point that requires a lot of them. Tier zero. Here once. And it's not like we have a lot of them stored, right? No. Okay. All good. Do we need beacons? Not really. Just need speed modules. Okay. Go, go, Nafta. That's just faster. Now what is our problem here? We have plenty of algae. These shouldn't need to be here, neither should these. But we are not using the cellulose fiber fast enough. Or at least as fast as we are producing it, so... Maybe those speed modules were a good idea. Also, I see more low tier stuff. This is able to keep up. This is able to keep up. So this is our current bottleneck. If we do that. And we keep research going. Then everything should be good. We just gotta get rid of these two short. Sure. Still waiting to output more of this stuff. So this is still the bottleneck, at least for a while. This is able to keep up. Oh, 
Okay, and it is just a bit slow. Now we could try to utilize the residual gas produced here for more nafta. But I think just expanding on this is fine. It just requires charcoal and uh, sulfuric waste water to produce, so it should be okay, I think. some water and apparently these were placed incorrectly. with it, except that they were wrong before anyway. Everything is powered. Good. And let's take this Put there and get some water. Put there. Put some water in. And we're good. We should probably just keep expanding on this. So why not? At least one more. Do we have enough robots? So far, yes, but not very soon, I think. We'll see. It is just these barrels and this charcoal and then the output that we need to transfer, so it's not too bad. Do we not have more LG farms here? Apparently not. And steam cracks as well. And modules. I think we're gonna go back to base and grab more, because I do want this to actually run fast enough. And it isn't really a problem other than needing more machines. And then more modules, of course, but that should also be okay. This should help alleviate our module shortage anyway, at least for well, until we reach the next bottleneck. So all good. stuff and grab some stuff myself steam cracker not that one this one these it's not like we need a lot of these but i'm still gonna grab I think 25. Oh, good. Is there anything else special we need for this, just so we don't run out of a simple thing? Okay. 
be. Maybe some top up valves. We do have those in the train if we have the train there. Oil refineries would also be a good idea. But we have 17. Also, we have the oil gas separator. Oh, steam crackers, sorry. No, we need both oil gas separators and steam crackers. We only have oil gas separators. Okay. We have enough of everything should be good. I'm just gonna send the train over. I think that's there. Yes. Just in case we run out of top of valves, I guess. Modules we are going to. That's not gonna last us very long, but some of this is just a bit too slow. Making transistors of all things. That's not transistors, this is. And transistors are lacking silver. Okay, we need to look into this that in a little bit. But let's get the naphtha done first. Or as close to done as we can with our current amount of uh, modules. Stop it. Go away. These things needed to go to insulated wire. These go in there. Did we bring anything else for here? Not that I see. I am gonna place some of these over here because this outer layer will be less important than this layer when we wait what oh we can't upgrade or downgrade like that we have to use one of these so if we add another layer over here this will be useful. Charging in just a little bit, and then we need to get some. Oh, water's supposed to go over there. So 
don't think I clicked. So, what a... But we do lack some modules still. But again, this is less important. Though I guess it should be down here. We need less of the high tier stuff. Dang it. Since this is the part that is easily able to keep up, it seems. out like that okay i guess i'm just forgetful about that stuff and we still have some of these so nafta production should have gone through the roof basically just want to measure that on something that isn't being barreled and unbarreled all the time. Just to have a more correct idea about it. We could just measure how much fuel oil we're producing, of course. Or we could look at this. Multi-phase oil. Boots. Over an hour. 26 to 82,000 potentially. Or more. I think that is sufficient for now, but I'm honestly not sure. That is an okay amount, but we do require a lot over at insulated wire. And we are out. Except that we actually have some left, it seems, in barrels where we need to put it in. So we're almost making it this time around. Good. And I guess some of it is coming from over here, but that's going to be demolished soon. Or whenever we get to it, at least. The next time we need more insulated wire, I guess would be the proper time for that. So, is the train coming soon? Yes, good. And we are storing a bunch when the train comes back, so that should be fine. Has it gone up in the one hour view now? Multi. Yes. So we are around 109,000 compared to the 26, 27,000 earlier. Should be good. So I'm gonna consider this phase done for now. Next up is either transistors, which requires more silver, which is on the way to. It's closer at least than anywhere else, so let's go there. Actually, don't we have a waypoint for this already? Yes, we do. It's just gonna go past both modules and science again on the way. That's not science. There because of these because of insulated wire. What? We should have so much more insulated wire now than anything else, basically.
modules. Unless the insulated wire train for science doesn't have its wagon for insulated wire at the front of the train. This still lacks transistors, so there's nothing. Where is the train for science? It's an honest way to silicon nitride and then to insulated wire. I think we might just be going to insulate wire and wait for it, because that's very near to our sisters as well. I just want to make sure that this is all as it should be. Also, we need to remember to deposit these machines. Soda and the power pole that looked like a station train. That was just me being stupid. Is the train coming? A train is coming, not ours. This is our train. But didn't we just see that? The wagon was supposed to unload at the front, yes. So why have we not gotten more? Maybe this train has just been in en route for so long that it hasn't gotten here since we upped the production or something. Or maybe it's just gotten here when we were low on NAFTA. Could also be the case. You go away, so we have a bit more of our train. Get over here, train, please. Even though I felt pretty sure I'm just gonna make even more sure, I guess. Also, these are actually backing up because our inserters are not fast enough for two full belts. Interesting. How about we just help along a little bit? So yes, it is going into the right wagon. Is it our unloading? It is our unloading. Because this will unload very fast. Okay, I think this time limit should fix it. If they're all full, or oh, 120 seconds. So much simpler than what I've been trying to do earlier. I'm just gonna let that wait and we will go to transistor or silver. Transistor should just, no, it's all the way over here and silver is right there.
Why are you not working? Because of silver. No mystery there. Silver, I thought we had fixed several times over. Eh. We have several silver stations now. And this was waiting for a full cargo with a slot that wasn't being filled. Okay. So we don't have a problem here, other than stupidity at some point with artifacts. Good. Let's just go to Transistor and ensure that we can produce enough of that. Or those. Silver incoming. This should ensure that we have all belts at least. This won't get them, no. Entirely full belts, instead just because we don't have enough inserters trying to fill them. We do get four belts out of here, and we only have four machines per belt, so two machines per side of the belt. Yeah. That's not the greatest, but we can't do loaders unless we take up more space. No real fix for that, I don't think. And okay, maybe these belts are fine. And us just making another station if we want to produce more. But that means we also need more input. I would have expected that, well, these would start backing up right. And that should mean that we consume less resources. Could grab another two stations for copper and silver and make more of this stuff. Or we could just wait for the station to work its magic because with this plastic available, we should be fine. That should all be fine. What do we have stored in here? Weird stuff. That's probably all good. Do we think this is going to solve itself now? I think so. 
but I've been known to be wrong several times. How many trains are coming here? Six. Five of them are waiting, the last one is coming. So at least it doesn't feel like it's solved. But of course all these trains need to fill up their destination depots as well. But maybe we do need more. Question is if we have enough cover for that. We are good on, co on cover currently. Also we can make or use better productivity modules up here to make even more. Are we doing good on plastic again? Yep. Good. So, how much plastic are we using here? 15 per second or something like that. So, this. We're using two belts in total, right? So, if we add another section equal to this, we use another two belts. And that just means we need more copper and silver. I do think I want to fix that problem with plenty more input, if we have the space at least. We need more output stations as well, of course. We sent the train up there, let's just go to it. And grab some landfill. Could also just make a transistor station somewhere else. Let's see if we can't make this work. Of course, even just adding single sided cover and silver out stations here will allow us to double our production so maybe that should be the goal rather than trying to be entirely future proof here where we don't have the space even for that not for that either we'll just do this for cover this for silver and then we can even only have one of these i think at least in a reasonable way we could move these daggers up actually train get over here probably gonna need you Networks, that's never good. And now there's no logistics over here. Do we need logistics? Logistics? Yeah. Well, we do first. Uh, charcoal. So let's just put another fifteen. And we need some trains and wagons. Whoops. You do silver. 
You are cold, silver. You do. Oh, you're cold, copper. Train is going copper right now. Just want a copy of you. That wasn't the train. I think that's it. Power plate, transistor cover. Yes, go. And we'll, well, we will just construct everything until then, I guess. Just get this out of the way. We're gonna run out of belt here. And I really need to remember that I have a belt brush. At least it would help. Oh, there's no guiding on that book. of that. Good. Output. Silver outpost is obviously very close, so that train got here fast. Good. Now we probably well we will run out of some stuff here, if nothing else than just speed modules. Oh well, that's okay. We need more space. Construct stuff automatically. No, we don't have any of the stuff. Uh, Everything is covered, good. We need more stuff from the train. Have those. Got oh, a bunch of these. And of those. And that's all of our modules gone. Good. Good thing we didn't slow down production of the productivity either, because we will need a lot more here. Should just be able to copy this right. Good. 
good. Actually, we might as well cover this as well. That should be plug and play ish. Except we don't need the plastic and the silicon undergrounds. Those soon. The outer one here shouldn't be populated from here, right? No, silver. Nothing. And then outputs. Yes. This should all really be upgraded, I think. Just to make everything a little bit easier to manage. Let's do that. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.